Let's move on to perpendicular. Okay, so perpendicular lines. have negative reciprocals for their slope. So it means you give it the opposite sign and you flip it over. So five is understood to be over one. So if we flip it over and give it the opposite sign, the slope of the perpendicular line would be negative one fifth. Negative two thirds becomes positive and you flip it over and you get positive three over two for the slope of that line. Okay? So if I look at these two lines, the slope here is three, the slope here is one third. Are those two slopes perpendicular? Okay, they did flip them but they don't have opposite signs. So since they don't have opposite signs, no, they are not perpendicular, okay? So what about these two lines? To determine if they have a perpendicular lines, the first thing you have to do is solve the equations for y. So over here on the left, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And then divide everything by 3. So I get negative 2 over 3x minus 2. The same thing over on the right. I'm going to subtract 3x because I'm trying to get y by itself. and then divide everything by negative two. Okay, here my slope is a positive three over two, and here a negative three over two. Sorry, negative two over three. Opposite signs flip, so are they perpendicular? Yes. Okay. If you wanted to graph them, I'm going to graph them down here in the bottom corner of this slide. Okay, so we start at negative 2. We go down 2 over 3. And then this one starts at negative 1 and goes up 3 over 2. So perpendicular mean they meet at like a 90 degree angle. That's perpendicular, okay? So if the equation is y equals 3x minus 2, so if we go over here like we did on the parallel one, that's at negative 2 up 3 over 1. We know that line, and we have the point 3, negative 1, and we want to know What's the equation of that perpendicular line? Well, the slope here is three. So the perpendicular slope that we want to use would be negative one over three. So we have the point three negative one and the m of negative one over three. And we can use a point slope form of the equation. To find the equation of the line. <coughs> Excuse me. Minus the negative is plus. And then distributing my ne negative one third. And then if I subtract one from both sides, I get negative one third x. So actually, this line should have been more. there to 
to be more perpendicular. Okay. One more and then we'll move on to the last section. Okay. If I have the line x equals two, let's go over here and look at it in a graph. So that's a vertical line because it's x equals. And I have the point negative four, three. What is the equation of that line? Well, if you look at that line, you can see it's a horizontal line because horizontal and perpendicular line or horizontal and vertical lines are always perpendicular. So the equation of a horizontal line is y equals a number, and if we look at our point, we know that y equals 3 is going to be the equation of that line.